Hello friends, welcome my channel. My name is Prabal Chakraborty. Today I want to discuss real analysis topic is sequence and series. So friends, let's start the definition of sequence. Sequence. A sequence suppose suppose that for for each positive integer integer n we can find we can by some determinable determinable manner a well defined real number xn a will defined real number xn then the collection then the collection collection x1 comma x2 dot xn to second bracket denoted it also so by xn is called sequence sequence of real number thus a sequence of a sequence of real number is a function or mapping or mapping x from capital n capital n means set of capital n means set of natural number set of natural numbers to capital r such that xn equivalent to x such that n tends to r so friends my book name also i tell book name because this is very very important for a student rk rk ghosh my it is ortho this is the author name and and this is the book name is and and introduction of Anna so friends we we have learned what is sequence next we are classes Next, we are classifying sequences. C U N C S sequences. Number one, convergent sequence. Convergent sequence and non-convergent non-convergent means does not imply a finite finite limit this is implies finite limit non convergent sequence are in two part one is one is properly divergent properly divergent another is improperly in pro Properly, and properly divergent are two parts. One is diverges to infinity. Another is diverges to minus infinity. And improperly divergent are two parts. One is OC lets finitely. Another is OC lets oscillates infinite finite so friends 
I hope that I clear total concepts which oscillates in finite. So this is my total classifications of sequences. Sequences are two types. One is convergent sequence, and that is non-convergent sequence. Convergent sequence is finite limit, and another is a, and that implies a not a finite limit. Properly divergent, improperly divergent. Properly divergent are two part. One is for divergence to infinity, and another is divergence to minus infinity. Oscillates finitely, oscillates infinitely. Now another another short note is that every convergent sequence are bounded. This is the note. Every convergent sequence are bounded, but converse. Now, friends, again, I I should discuss that I I have told that every convergent sequence is bounded, but converse is not true. So, friends, examples I want to give one example. Example is that let x n is equal to one plus minus one to the power n n. I can define defines the sequence the sequence defines the sequence 0 comma 2 0 comma 2 dot dot up to infinity so friends it is bounded it is bounded sequence but not convergent. as but not convergent as whatever you see present friends as uh, it doesn't does not have any finite limit. So friends, let's start to definition of convergent sequence. Definition of convergence sequence. So friends, definition of convergent sequence. A sequence, a sequence xn of real number of real number of real numbers is said to be is said to be convergent it has a limit has a limit it has a it has, has a limit limit l such that such that for all uh, such that that implies epsilon greater than zero there exist there exist epsilon greater than zero there exist n0 belongs to capital n such that mod of xn minus l less than epsilon whenever ever n greater than equals to n0 so friends this is the this is our our inter, uh, this is our definition of convergent sequence whenever uh, xn minus a min, uh, whenever n greater than n0, n greater than equals to n0, then it's x mod of xn minus l less than epsilon. So when friends first first happened this after that this. So let the geometrical geometrical interpretations enter. So friends, let's start the geometrical interpretations. Geometrical interpretations is very important portions so let let x and x dash be the real axis be the real real we mark points x n and for each n and and let e be the point e be the point point corresponding bonding to the to l as n tends to infinity means means that after some stage some stage all member all member members of xn belongs to the belongs to the open interval 
L minus epsilon and L plus epsilon. So friends, you will see this. This is the diagram here. Here you get here you get all kind of all kind of the point. All the points of the xn near, near about this 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 interval means means that the after some stage all members of xn all of all members of xn will, you will get this this interval this is the main uh, xn the open interval this is according to the diagram belongs to the open interval next friends next Our next discussion is if xn tends to L as n tends to infinity, then then we see then a certain point point n zero comma xn zero. See this diagram, friends. Here, this this is this certain point is n zero and x n zero. Friends, this is the certain point. This is the certain point. You, 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 you see, x n zero comma x n zero lie strip lie within the strip of breadth b r e a d a d t h breadth two epsilon. Such a point, such a point n zero comma x n zero should be always available. Available. However, however, narrow strip, narrow strip, narrow strip may be if x n has a limit. L. So friends, this is my geometrical inter interpretations. You will see this is the diagram. Then this is the this is my, my total line. This is my total line. You will see that the point is available in here also. You can see it is the it can be n zero plus two comma x n zero plus two. You can see that that that, that the, this this inter, interval after n0 xn xn0 then you get all the members between in here a lot of members you can get xn members is in here near about l and F, l, l, l plus epsilon epsilon however epsilon may be may be small this is the, uh, the, the hence it is the convert is this this L point? This L point it is converges uh, to prove to prove the limit n tends to infinity n tends to infinity n to the power one by n equals to 1 so friends now how can i solve limit n tends to infinity n to the power n minus 1 equals to 0 we have to prove we have to prove limit n tends to infinity equal to 0 it is the null set that set is null set so friends whatever we, we have to do so this this is my i have to prove so let let 
chain is equal to minus 1. Now for n greater than 1 and n to the power n less than 1 and h n is equal to nth root of minus 1 greater than greater than 0 so friend let so friends net n equals to n equals to 1 plus one plus h n now that implies n equals to 1 plus h n whole to the power n equals to 1 plus n h n plus n into n minus 1 divided by 2 into h n whole square plus h n whole to the power n greater than n into n minus 1 divided by 2 h n square h n as a is positive as as n to the power n greater than 1 so friends whatever we get h n square h n square is equal to 2 divided by n minus 1 h n greater than root over 2 divided by n minus 1 that implies a given a given positive number number epsilon when ever 2 divided by n minus 1 less than epsilon square that is that is n greater than 2 divided by epsilon square epsilon square plus 1 it is epsilon 0 square plus 1 choosing n0 equals to third bracket 2 divided by epsilon 0 square plus 1 we see we see hn tends to 0 as n tends to infinity consequently proof hence we say that limit n tends to infinity n to the power 1 by n equals to 1. Thanks for watching.